frogs are cute to some and nasty to others, and you can always find one around where you live. But did you know that these tiny creatures can be some of the most poisonous living things on the planet? There's one species that proves that frogs aren't all nice because even if you touch this one, you'll be suffering to death. The golden poison dart frog isn't just high on the list of poisonous frogs. It's the most poisonous amphibian in the world. Found in tropical forests in Colombia, it usually stays on the ground in the lowlands near rivers. Adults lay their eggs on land, and when they hatch, the father carries the kids on his back to the water. But that's where its sweetness ends. Growing up to a maximum of two inches, this little creature immediately stands out from its surroundings due to its bright coloring. The adults have a single bright color, which can be orange, green, or even white. But the most common color is yellow. But don't let the sharp colors or the small size fool you, because anything found in nature is just as deadly as it is bright. Their bright colors warn any predators not to approach, and you'll soon learn why you should stay away from any signs of this species. Because of its diet of beetles of the Chorcine genus, it has developed extremely strong toxins in its skin. Known as batrachotoxins, as little as two micrograms of these substances are enough to kill a human being. That's the same as a grain of salt, an amount small enough that you won't even feel it when it touches you and each golden poison dart frog contains about 1 to 2,000 micrograms. You can do the math yourself. Since bat trachotoxin is even more toxic than chirea and a thousand times more deadly than cyanide, killing as many as 20,000 mice or 10 people is child's play for this innocent-looking creature. It releases its toxins when it sweats, and small animals that even walk across the place where the frog has stood die because they came in contact with the poison. For humans, all you need to do is touch the frog a single time, and the clock starts to tick on your lifespan. The poison is a neurotox that travels through your skin and into your nerves, permanently blocking them from transmitting impulses. Immediately, your body starts to shut down. You go through convulsions, muscle contractions, and salivation. The next few minutes of your life will be absolute hell. You won't be able to move. You won't be able to call for anyone for help as you feel your breathing stop and your heart start to fail. Since your nerves can't transport impulses anymore, every single process your body does, without even you thinking about it, ceases to exist. Can you imagine how that would feel? This is one frog you would not want to kiss, no matter what you get in return. Death occurs in less than three minutes. There is no cure, since once the toxin is in your bloodstream, you better say your goodbyes. And you thought your ex was toxic? Until now, there have been no public reports of humans dying to any frogs of this species, but you would not want to be the first. If you're ever in the area, consider wearing as much protective clothing as you can. The frogs don't actually look out for humans, so at least you don't have to worry about them attacking you. The toxin is purely a defensive mechanism, but it's a deadly one, so don't go around messing with them either. Don't touch the frog, don't even get close to it, and avoid touching anything that has touched it as well. The only people that should go close to it are trained professionals. Well, them and the indigenous population of Colombia. Just like anything else, humans have found a way to use the frog's poison, but the frogs are not too happy about that. These indigenous hunters have used the poison on the tips of their blowgun darts for centuries. Instead of touching the frog directly, they use waxy leaves to lift them and then dip their darts to coat them with secretions. A single dart will bring down a small animal like a monkey in under a minute, and even something as large as a jaguar in under five. When scientists say that the frog can bring down bull elephants, they're not kidding. Needless to say, this process is not something you should try at home, but this practice is what gave the poison dart frogs their name. It was then shared with many other related species. Yes, you heard that correctly, there are even more species like this one. There's the yellow banded poison dart frog found in Brazil, Colombia, Guiana, and Venezuela. It lives in leaf litter, on rocks, under logs or fallen branches, and near rivers in tropical forests. These frogs also contain bat trachotoxins, so it won't be a fun time if you get close to them. There's also the black-legged dart frog, which is also found in Colombia, and just like its neighbors, it can kill humans in minutes, although it will take a significantly more amount. 
its poison will cause fever and seizures and exposure to over 150 micrograms of its poison will cause certain death due to paralysis of respiratory muscles. Being suffocated to death doesn't sound like a very good way to go. Maybe you should stay away from Columbia after all, because any contact with these and your trip can go very south very fast. Most other species like the strawberry frog and the green and black frog are often non-threatening to humans because they have different ways of transmitting their toxins. A little bit of soap and water for most species and you should be good to go. Just don't try to eat them because then there's no saving you. But just like the indigenous population of Colombia found a way to use the frog's poison to their advantage, so have modern scientists. Scientists researching frog poisons believe that they can be used to make medicines to treat heart and circulatory conditions. Not only this, but the toxins from some of the frogs have the potential to become painkillers, thousands of times stronger than morphine and without the side effects. In fact, researchers have already developed a synthetic version of one of the poisons that may be used as a painkiller in the future. Talk about making the best of the situation, right? But there's bad news, good news, and then there's even worse news that we're about to tell you in just a moment. The bad news is, it's difficult to study the toxins in the frogs in a lab setting. In captivity, the frogs are usually fed vitamin powder since it's tough to replicate their exact diet. But for all these toxic frogs, the poisons come from the frog's diet, which can include various rainforest insects such as ants, beetles, centipedes, and termites, depending on what species it is. This means that whenever they're kept in captivity, the poison frogs eventually lose all their defense mechanisms. This is why poison frogs bred in captivity or kept in zoos are not toxic. But this means some very good news. You can actually keep them as pets. Because they are active during the day and colorful, poison dart frogs can be an amazing pet as long as you're responsible and know how to take care of them. Just make sure to warn anyone if you let them roam around the house. But the possibility of keeping them as pets and the medical research might never actually end up happening because in a few decades, the poison dart frogs might not exist at all. Despite having these staggering defenses, the golden poison dart frog is proof that deforestation and human input remain more dangerous than anything else. About a third of the planet's amphibians are threatened due to habitat destruction, global climate change, and a disease called chytridiomycosis, and poison frogs are no different, especially the golden poison dart frog, since they only occupy a small part of the rainforest on the Pacific coast of Colombia, any change in the habitat decimates the entire population. The species is now on the international endangered list, and it's only going downhill from there. The golden poison dart frogs are some of the most poisonous creatures on the planet, able to kill anyone who touches them in a matter of minutes and make them suffer while they do it. But while we may have found many ways to get around the poison and use the toxins to our benefit, the frog remains in danger of being erased from the planet entirely. Hopefully, we'll be able to save it before it disappears. Losing these colorful creatures would be a tragedy for the whole world. Even if they're toxic ways, don't make that obvious at first.